We've got the tallest animal in the whole world. And oh my gosh, Greg, it's coming towards us. <laughs> but we don't have to be worried about this giraffe because the giraffe doesn't eat people. They don't eat any meat at all. In fact, they just eat the leaves. So they're not like the impala. They can eat grass and leaves. These animals have got a very different type of digestive system. But they look at that little bird. What's that doing all the way up on the giraffe? Now that's a very cool bird to see. That is an oxpecker, a red-billed oxpecker, and there's more than one of them. And you often see them around on the animals because what they do is they don't eat the giraffe, but they eat the parasites that live on the giraffe. So the ticks and the mites, they eat the tick eggs too. So they like their personal grooming service. So the giraffe don't need to take baths. They just let the oxpeckers do all the work. Now, there was a question earlier about leopards eating giraffe. Well, I've never seen a leopard take down a giraffe, but I have seen a leopard feeding on a giraffe kill before, but that was made by lions. And then the leopard took the opportunity to scavenge on it. But now he's walking. Where are you going? Now he's a big boy, this one. He's an old boy. He's been around for many, many years now. But it seems as though he doesn't... Oh, no, he, he does want to be around us. He's now going to show you how he eats. And Kalia, you were just wondering what he eats. So I mentioned that they eat leaves, but now you can see it for yourself. And that tree that he's feeding on is called a knob thorn. And it has so many prickles. It's got two types of thorns on there. So if you were to stick your hand in, you would be crying because it would be so sore. Isn't that cool? Now he's using his long tongue as well. Well, they can use it. Like our hands would. Mmm, delicious. And it's going to stand and eat there. Now it's moving on. See that? It's going, I'm going to eat on the other side of the tree or I'm going to find something else to eat. But they are amazing animals. Very lucky to see a giraffe. We actually haven't been seeing very many of them. Which sounds crazy. Because you'd think, how does an animal that tall hide away? I promise you, they're very good at hiding away. The elephants and the giraffe, I think, are the best at hi playing hide and seek for their size. I think we've seen more leopards in the last few days than we have giraffe. But he's able to see over the tops of the trees. Now, Harper, you're actually wondering why the giraffe is so tall, and I was just about to tell you, so it seems as though we're thinking of the same thing. Great minds think alike. So what happens is they need to be tall, firstly, so that they can eat from the tops of the trees. It's amazing. All the different animals out here, the herbivores, so the ones that eat the plants, they all feed on similar things. Some feed on grass, some feed on leaves, some feed on both, some feed on fruits, some dig for roots, all these different types of things. So a giraffe is able to feed higher than any other animal. The only one that can feed almost as high as a giraffe, I suppose, is an elephant. And if a monkey sits on top of the tree and pulls some leaves off, then I suppose they're feeding maybe even taller than a giraffe is. And also, they've got to be nice and tall so that they can see over the tops of the trees. So they've got very, very good eyesight. It's a good idea to hang around the giraffe because I think that they would, they would spot a predator like a leopard or a lion or a hyena or cheetah even a pack of wild dogs before they'd smell or hear it. I've got exceptionally good eyesight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go forward just a little bit because we, his head is now hiding behind the trees and if I'm just chuckle forward just a little bit. We're so lucky to find him. There we go. There's a better view. Well hopefully he doesn't disappear because it'll be terrible if he goes just around the corner because we can't get there. So we're not allowed to off-road, so drive off of the, the paved areas for all the different animals, only for some of them. Now, Mac, you're wondering if a giraffe can run and fight. Of course they can. It's very important that all the animals out here are able to do so. So a giraffe can run very, very quickly. And when they fight, if they're fending off lions, because lions like to eat giraffe, they'll kick them with their very, very powerful legs. And you wouldn't want to be kicked by a giraffe because you could easily go to hospital or even worse. Now, lions have to be careful when they do that too because they can get killed by the giraffe. And when the males, when the boys fight to compete for the ladies, for the girls, they'll actually swing their necks around like this.
and we call that necking and that's how they do that and they get themselves into a pretzel but he's now disappeared out of view unfortunately he just wanted to give you a quick show but we're gonna go all the way back to Tristan now who's got something that has also got a pretty pattern on its coat